the metaverse will usher in a new era of digital connectivity, virtual reality, VR, experiences and e-commerce. Facebook's parent company rebranded itself as Meta to reimagine the social media platform as a metaverse company, building the future of social connection. Other non-tech corporations are getting involved from Nike filing new trademarks to sell virtual Air Jordans and Walmart preparing to offer virtual merchandise in online stores using its own cryptocurrency and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. The metaverse is an integrated network of 3D virtual worlds. These worlds are accessed through a virtual reality headset. Users navigate the metaverse using their eye movements, feedback controllers or voice commands. The headset immerses the user, stimulating what is known as presence, which is created by generating the physical sensation of actually being there. Musicians and entertainment labels are experimenting with hosting concerts in the metaverse. The sports industry is following suit, with top franchises like Manchester City building virtual stadiums so fans can watch games and, presumably, purchase virtual merchandise. Perhaps the farthest reaching opportunities for the metaverse will be in online learning and government services. The main conception of the metaverse, a VR-based world independent of our physical one where people can socialize and engage in a seemingly unlimited variety of virtual experiences, all supported with its own digital economy. While VR is considered a key component of the metaverse recipe, entrance to the metaverse is not limited to having a VR headset. As anyone with a computer or smartphone can tap into a metaverse experience. An ongoing challenge has been to get users to frequently and for long periods use their headsets. Augmented reality, AR, experiences may hold the key for the metaverse to reach its true potential. With AR, users use their smartphone or other devices to digitally enhance what they perceive in the physical world in real time, allowing them to tap into a virtual world while still feeling present in this one. A metaverse centered on augmented reality wouldn't be a completely new digital world. It would intersect with our real world. The term metaverse is used to describe a combination of the virtual reality and mixed reality worlds accessed through a browser or headset which allows people to have real-time interactions and experiences across distance. As of 2022, the current focus on the metaverse is supported by the chance to fully own virtual objects or land. With the blockchain technology it makes it possible to define the object so it can be bought and sold. Right now, Decentraland and Sandbox, for example, are both metaverse worlds that sell virtual land to businesses that build virtual buildings. Sotheby's, the nearly 300-year-old auction house, has a building in Decentraland that your avatar can walk around and view what is being auctioned. Purchasing virtual land has been compared to purchasing domain names in the 1990s at the start of the internet boom. To reach a younger audience they're less likely to be on the internet or on social media and more likely to be in the metaverse. In 2020, 12.3 million people attended a single virtual concert by rapper Travis Scott, hosted in Fortnite. All the dancing figures were all real people, connecting from various locations around the world. There are things you can do in the metaverse that cannot be done in real life across distance. You can mimic being together, by pointing to something to explain, use hand gestures, draw on a piece of paper, go places together full of endless incredible possibilities of collaborative activities which eliminates the impediment of distance.